G'day guys, my name's Nicole. I'm from a place in Victoria, Australia. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a tour of my aviary, my setup, and the birds I've got. I've got quite an array of birds, about 200 odd. Most are finches, lots of different varieties. I have scarlet parrots, burks parrots, turks parrots, budgies, canaries, cockatiels. We've got some rosellas, kakariki parrots, red rump parrots. So let's get started, eh? Right, first aviary we've got here is the budgie aviary. I know you're probably thinking budgies, but I have some pretty cool ones. I've got some what they call helicopter budgies. Pretty hard to come by here in Australia. I searched high and low to get these guys. They did cost me a small fortune, nearly 10 times uh, the price of what you'd pay for a regular budgie. There is one of them right there. I will see if I can get a shot of a couple of these other guys. Here's one up here. You can see the way their feathers fall. Completely different to your normal budgies, and they do generally have a full crest as well, which I think is pretty cool. Helicopter budgie. That's his girlfriend. We also have some English budgies in here. If I can uh, track some of them buddies down, which you're probably looking up here. There's some of my English there. That's Jackson. There's the helicopter right there. Perfect timing, darling. There's Mr. Hendrix, of course. He was the first budgie I ever bought, actually. And I've also got a couple of the, uh, the full crested budgies here, rainbow budgie, which just flew out of screen, of course. But this is the budgie aviary. These guys generally pay for the seed when I uh, sell the babies. And I do have some quails that generally float about down on the ground here. Uh, they generally get their greens and things every single day. They've made a bit of a mess this morning, but it's not usually this messy. They get, you know, cucumbers, some strawberries, corn, spinach, kale. Not a lot of spinach because it can bind them. But uh, this is the budgie aviary. Let's go on to the next aviary. So this aviary is what I like to call my bits of aviary. I've got a bit of everything. We've got, uh, as you can see, my Gouldian finches here. We do also have some Cuban finches, um, caught on blurs, some ruddies in here. That's the male that just flew out of screen there. I also have some scarlet parrots in here. This is one of my beautiful friendly boys where the lighting is absolutely amazing today, as you can see. But he's a stunning little boy, very friendly, and there's a white-fronted uh, blue male up the top there. But this is a bit of a bits of aviary, a bit of fun. That's all that one is. Next aviary. Uh, in this aviary, I have a pair of scarlet parrots. This is my stunning girl here. She is absolutely beautiful, and the sun is shining on her lovely right now. The boy has decided to go and play somewhere else, and I'll see if I can get a shot of him. And uh, that was him. There he is up there. He's coming back to see his girl now. So this is my full fronted red male and that's his girlfriend there. I've only got the two in here. I want these guys to breed for me this season. So we'll see what happens. We do also have my quails down the bottom here. Where's Poppy? So if I can find Poppy. Poppy was named simply because he loves to pop around. He was raised by me by himself. He was the only egg that hatched out. You can see that they lay a lot of eggs. I usually clean them up once a week. Uh, you can eat their eggs. They're a little bit too small for my liking. So I generally don't do it. And there's Twisty. <laughs> so this aviary is a Gouldian aviary and a Scarlet aviary. In case you haven't worked out, I do love my Gouldian finches, especially these beautiful stunners here. She's a gorgeous girl. And that was, where she gone? She might come back and sit for us. That's one of my favourite Scarlet females there. She's an absolute stunner. And there's a big boy. There he is. And there's a big boy. He's a white fronted blue male and that's his partner up there. I'm hoping to get some really pretty babies out of these guys this season. I haven't actually bred these guys before, so fingers crossed I do get something out of them. Let's see if I can zoom in on this boy, show you how gorgeous he is. Look at him. Little stunner. So this is a bit of a mixed aviary as well, but mainly Gouldians and uh, Scarlets, like I said. Next aviary. So this is my blue Gouldian aviary. Uh, if I can zoom in on this fella here, you can see his beautiful colours. He's a male there, and there's a couple of uh, well, the top and bottom are the split blue females that I've got to breed with him. Hopefully they give me some lovely blue babies. And look at this boy. This is my number one breeding male. He's a little stunner, this little guy. And I've also got some Latino uh, parrot finches, I think they are called. If I can zoom up here, no, she's not gonna sit at all. These guys are pretty skittish in case you can't tell. Let's see if I can get one of her before she flies off on me. There she is there. These guys are really quite hard to breed, I've found. Uh, I did breed them this year, but I only got normals out of them, so I'm thinking I was stooge, and I actually didn't get a split, which is meant to be something that looks similar to what that up the top there. Um, but yeah, all I got was uh, normals, so I think I was stooge, but if you know birds, you can't believe everything everyone says to you. That's a really nice blue there as well. 
this is my blue Gordie and Avery. These are my favourite by far. Absolutely love them. I think they are stunning birds and I hope to breed a whole heap of these guys. So let's go to the next Avery. This is what I call my sellout Avery. I've got a lot of birds for sale in here when I separate them from the, the parents. I leave them all in here until they finally sell. I've got a lot of Kakarikis for sale at the moment. So if you do want a Kakariki and you're in Victoria or even just Australia, hit me up. I've got plenty for sale. So these are there's a nice cinnamon blue Kakariki up the top there. She's a lovely girl. She is for sale. All of these guys are for sale. Hit me up if you want them. The Kakarikis are amazing parrots. They're very, very funny. They make a really cool sound. Uh, they're very, you know, crazy as you can see. Uh, they are pretty messy though, but uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning little parrots. All right, and there's a couple of scarlets in here as well. <laughs> you got to actually laugh for me on camera. There's a first. All right, let's go to the next Avery. Okay, up there on the back wall, these are my breeding pair of Kakarikis. That is the female over here. And the male has gone over there. He's a beautiful, stunning cinnamon blue. Oh, there we go. And that's their baby in the middle that just jumped out of the nest box. Uh, she jumped out maybe two days ago. So she's still relatively young and providing, you know, relying on the parents to actually give her food. There we go. We've got them all. That's amazing. Uh, she's a hand-raised girl, so she's pretty friendly most of the time. Not Just not used to the camera being shoved in her face, I suppose. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to this boy. He's a little stunning. You can see his beautiful eyes there. And he's got that lovely cinnamon blue colour. They're my favourite by far. This little bubba will be for sale at some stage, but not quite just yet until uh, she gets weaned off the parents. All right, Kakariki Avery, next one. Now, I don't have favourite birds, of course, but these guys are pretty cool. This is uh, Janet. She's an Eastern Rosella female. She's absolutely gorgeous. If she'll just get into the sun for me properly, we could see her colour. But she's an absolute stunner. And there he comes, Joey. Joey is a pale-headed Rosella. He's a beautiful boy as well. Joey's not a big fan of anyone. His uh, partner died and I did get him a new partner just for a bit of company and he doesn't really seem to like her. They don't seem to get along the best, but they, they do. I think Joey would have been happy by himself, to be honest, but this is one of my favourite Averys. Don't tell the others. So we've got beautiful Janet and lovely Joey. They can be a little bit skittish. They don't generally like me being in their cage, but I'm here now and they seem to be all right. Good girl, Janet. Look at her colour. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? She's got a wild rosella male that comes down and sees her every day. It's really quite cute. But this is my beautiful, oh, there he goes. There he is. This is my beautiful rosella, Avery. I love these guys. It's just gorgeous. And they're really fun to watch. They make some pretty cool sounds. So let's go on to the next one. All right, welcome to my favorite Avery. This is my largest. It's four meters wide. Uh, what is it, 2.7 in length and 2.2 in height. This is my play Avery, as I call it. I've got a lot. Of different birds in here i couldn't even tell you how many there are a hell of a lot of finches we've got finches like double bars we've got the red uh red faced parrot finches we've got star finches canaries we've got ruddies up here as well uh what's that a nun finch over there and then up here as well we've got a few different sorts we've obviously got the gordians which in case you couldn't tell i love there is a couple of burke's parrots there they're little stunners this one up the back here in the middle he was the very first uh, Burke's parrot or bird I ever actually bought which is pretty cool I think again I love my Gordians they're just look at them look at their colors they're just stunning and you can see a few more of them up there the lighting's not so bad today there's also a Cuban male up there in the top and a, a male ruddy the red one up the very corner there then we go back and we've got some more of our Burke's over here where are you Oscar come here buddy come say hello Oscar so this is beautiful Oscar He's an older boy now. I do have some cockatiels in here. Cockatiels are so passive. They back down to just about every bird I've got. And there's my beautiful pair of the uh, blue front, was beautiful pair of my blue front, um, white, white front blue, sorry. And there's a Turks parrot there as well. People say that you can't have <clears throat> some of these breeds in together, but hey, I don't believe everything I'm told. And these guys get along amazing, so why the heck not? There's a couple sitting up there on the nest box. Look at you, you beautiful boy. Look at him. Look at his colours. I just absolutely love these guys. I can't get enough of them. They're just absolutely stunning. The blue, especially when the sun's out like it is now, it's just beautiful. Uh, where else? What else have we got in here? You can see they're going a little bit skittish at the moment because they're not really happy with me being in here and shoving a camera in their face. It's all right, guys. Settle down. Settle down. All right. And then down here, I've also got uh, some of my quails. 
There's another little female here. These guys are pretty cool. They've got really cool little quirky personalities. I love these guys a lot. Um, most of mine are really friendly. You can pat them, pick them up. There's another little white girl over here. And um, yeah, so that's basically the tour of my Avery. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe. I've got plenty of other animals I'm going to be making videos on and showing you guys around. My little uh, Nicole's mini farm, as I call it. But uh, keep tuned, keep staying tuned, I should say. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. See you guys.